Hi guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! In today's episode we are adding a king penguin to our zoo, an animal that was recently added to the game with the aquatic DLC. I know it's been a while since I posted the last episode which was adding uh, the Animal Talk Store Zoo. In case you didn't see that episode I will put the link on the description to this video as well as on the screen. But yeah, I was quite busy, uh, I had a lot of work and also, uh, you know, the Christmas are coming, so uh, yeah, I had to do a lot of shopping, I am organizing the Christmas, small Christmas Eve because of the, uh, you know, pandemic situation uh, at my home, so my family is coming, and yeah, I have a lot to do, and that's why I wasn't able to upload the video during the last week but we are back and we are back with a very nice habitat actually it's the first uh, habitat for king penguins that I ever built I wanted to go for an indoor habitat because I think that this kind of penguin uh, needs some special uh, conditions and uh, environment that is quite hard to achieve in an open air habitat. Uh, we are building in temperate biomes, so in summer there could be like 30 degrees or Celsius, of course, <laughs> or more. Uh, and yeah, it might be too hot for those penguins, so uh, I decided to once more go for a realistic uh, approach and build an indoor habitat. Uh, like an enclosure when where the temperature and the humidity, humidity and so on can be easily controlled. Usually you will see penguins in habitats like this in zoos. Uh, only African penguins which uh, live normally in hotter temperatures will be in open uh, air habitats. Uh, penguins like pink penguin that come from you know an Antarctic, Arctic uh, areas, uh, they need some lower temperatures and they are often in those you know, tanks behind the glass where you can observe them. To be honest, from what I remember and what I saw online when I was looking for some inspirations for this habitat. Uh, penguin habitats in zoos are uh, actually quite small. Uh, there is like a small island or a cliff, something like this, and some water area uh, around it uh, with the underwater viewing, and that's the typical, uh, you know, like penguin habitat in a zoo. Uh, in the game, penguins need some more space. At first I wanted to go for something like really small, like you know, typical uh, city zoo vibe penguin habitat. But then I decided to make something bigger, uh, which is on the like uh, minimal uh, requirements uh, of land and water for them uh, to be, you know, to have the good welfare. Actually, when I put the first penguin in, I uh, realized that the traversable area isn't as good as I thought. I had to uh, de delete some, delete some uh, rocks uh, for them to move more smoothly throughout the habitat. And I also had to add this, uh, you know, like backstage area where they can uh, hide from the guests. Uh, just to make the uh, land area a bit bigger and now it's like literally perfect the water the deep water and the land area are are just as they should be as you can see I struggled a lot with the paths and uh, barriers yeah the paths and barriers aren't the best match <laughs> in this game uh, it's rather hard to build, you know, barrier, barriers first and then uh, some nice path around them. Uh, so I cut out a lot of me uh, struggling uh, from this video. 
but the end result is uh, somehow what I wanted uh, to achieve. At first I wanted to add the stairs down to the underwater viewing, but then I realized that we need to be like wheelchair friendly in our zoo. Uh, so I decided to go for those slopes. Uh, to be like more realistic to not put additional elevator in them and to allow disabled people to go down there and uh, see the penguins dive. Of course there are no guests who are wheelchair users in the game but let's pretend they there might be some and they should uh, you know be treated equally as everyone else and should have access to all the points of our zoo. As you can see I already started to put a lot of rocks in this habitat. Yeah, it will be very very rocky just like a, a you know, cliff by the water, uh, by the sea, by the ocean where the penguins actually live. I, want, I wanted to recreate like a small piece of their habitat in there. I didn't put any plants because I thought it was quite unreal for plants to, to like grow in such habitats. So that's only uh, the rocks and the new fake rocks we that were added with the aquatic DLC. And I know, uh, in the seal habitat episode, I said that I really didn't like those fake rocks, that they look really very like curtainy for me and I won't be probably using them in the future and suddenly now I'm using them. Uh, so I tried and I figured that when you change the colors to something more uh, like not obvious like grey or something they start to appear a lot better. Uh, they look more realistic, they uh, are a really nice addition to the habitats. Uh, like <clears throat> those small rocks, the piles of small rocks, they add a lot of uh, like natural feelings. You would have, you know, those uh, piles of small, small rocks uh, underwater in the crevices of the rocks. That's really, really nice. You just have to like set the right color on them and you are like good to go you can make amazing stuff with them and yeah i totally totally changed my mind after creating this habitat and i'm so sorry for what i said earlier those rocks are bomb i wanted to create those small uh caves from for penguins uh with the like those small gates that uh were added with the fake rocks but unfortunately, I don't know why, but I think that the entrances are too small for the penguins. I don't know if that's the rocks uh, around them or it's, they are just too small for them. Uh, and it's a large like pity that they can't use it because I think it, it would be even more like realistic for them to go inside those uh, caves. You know, in real life they pro probably uh, lay eggs in there, but unfortunately they cannot use them. Uh, maybe when they will have those small cheeks, they, the small ones will go in there, but uh, now the adults, like, they are too small for them. Uh, another thing is that we don't really have eggs, the birds in this game don't lay eggs, uh, so it's no use to have them. Uh, maybe I hope that it will be changed uh, in the future, it's another like thing that the community requests a lot, uh, so I have high hopes that uh, the birds will st start laying eggs uh, in the future, uh, because you know we uh, really wanted aquatic animals and we got them, so there is a power in this community and uh, we should be vocal about the things that we really want. As you can see there are a lot of rocks in this habitat. I didn't like count them, there are probably like few hundred. Uh, but yeah, 
putting those rocks one on another, like adding them in the crevices and so on, creates such a nice uh, and natural effect that I am really glad with this habitat. I think even it might be one of my favorites that I ever built, uh, because it is both like realistic and uh, you know well made well structured uh, it has nice colors it has uh, this underwater viewing area that is like uh, half and half so the guests can see penguins underwater but they also can see you know when they are uh, swimming on the surface with their heads uh, sticking out from the water uh, so yeah, I really really like this habitat. And I think now it's time for uh, our fun facts about the animals. Uh, every episode I try to give you guys some fun facts about the animal uh, which we are building a habitat for. Uh, so today uh, we have some fun facts on the king penguins. So the diet of king penguin consists mainly of small fish, krills and squids. The easiest way to determine if the king penguin is a male or a female is actually not by their appearance but by their voice. They have different voices and different calls. But they have the same appearance which means they are monomorphic. King penguin is usually mistaken with an emperor penguin. Emperor penguins are actually the largest species of penguin in the world and the king penguin is about 20% smaller than the emperor penguin. The colors on king penguin's cheeks and upper chest are mainly orange, sometimes yellow. Uh, on the emperor's cheeks and the upper, uh, sorry, it's yellow and white chest. It's mainly white and almost white, so it's very pale. Sorry, it's yellow and white. And also the difference is the patch on the side of their beaks. Uh, the king penguins, they have orange patch while the emperor penguins they have more pink patch and also the cheeks of the penguins are uh, very different the king penguins cheeks as you could probably see while playing are uh, brown while the emperor's cheeks are usually gray uh, light gray or uh, more of a dark gray currently on the world there are around 2 million and 200,000 pairs of king penguins, which is quite impressive and means that their conservation status right now is least concern. But the scientists predict that due to uh, the climate change, their population will decrease around 70%. Uh, in less than 80 years. We can already observe that their population is moving further and further north looking for um, colder temperatures. Also their main uh, source of food which is krill and uh, special species of small fish. Uh, their populations are also decreasing due to the uh, warmer uh, temperatures of the sea. Uh, so, in like 80 years, the situation of king penguins and all the other king, uh, all the other uh, species of penguins, uh, will be quite drastic. This is very sad, and I hope that people will start to worry more about the climate warming, uh, because otherwise, a lot of animal species just won't survive, because it's hard for them to adapt to higher temperatures. The king penguin is one of the most uh, popular species of penguin to be kept in zoos. You can see them in a lot of North American zoos as well as European zoos. Many people wondered why we didn't get the emperor penguins uh, in the new DLC, just the king penguin. 
And the answer is probably that there are only uh, about two or three zoos that actually keep emperor penguin because they are quite big and don't do well in zoos. And the king penguins, they do just fine, they breed in zoos, so uh, probably that's why the developers decided to include the king penguin over the emperor penguin. Yeah, as you could see, I had to add this shelter for the penguins because their land was just too small uh, and I wanted them to be happy, so uh, yeah, I decided to make this small shelter inside this building we already had. Uh, it also is like quite nice to have it because, you know, when the habitat needs to be cleaned uh, of all the bird poop <laughs> and so on, uh, if the water area needs to be cleaned, all the penguins can be just closed in this shelter and they won't uh, like interrupt uh, and yeah, it could be just easier for the keepers to do it. Also, if one of the penguins is for example sick or doesn't want to just show to the guests, it can like easily hide or be separated from the others and you know in every zoo you would have those rooms uh, for the animals like to separate them or to close them uh, for the maintenance of the habitat. In a second you will see me starting to build the building around the habitat. Uh, I actually skipped a lot of it because I didn't want to make this video too long and too boring. Uh, so I just showed you how I uh, started to build the walls around uh, the habitat as well as the planters uh, that I used to cover those uh, curbs that I really don't like. I The problem is I like the... Uh, concrete path but I don't like those wooden curbs I don't know they just like don't I don't feel them that's why I always try to cover them with something and here I decided to uh, add those planters uh, to have this more like lush green feeling to this uh, building uh, also, as I said in my last episodes, I really like this, the foliage, the more tropical foliage in this game, but unfortunately we won't be using it much in this zoo because it's the temperate zoo and I don't want to, like, you know, use the un unnatural palm trees and so on outside, but we'll be probably using more tropical plants inside of the habitats, like indoor ha habitats. And that's why I decided to add a lot of those plants uh, to also give this like really nice contrast between you know more of the Arctic style uh, habitat and more like tropical outside. I think it looks really really nice at the end. I also built this uh, custom info uh, board for the uh, penguins, as you can see now. Uh, I really like how it turned out. It has this, you know, arctic feeling with a lot of snow, uh, snowy mountains, wet uh, water. Uh, it looks quite nice, something you would see in the zoo, more for like children to learn something about the animals. Uh, yeah, I used a lot of uh, like geometric pieces uh, as well as the sculptures of the penguins that we got with the new DLC and in the end it looks very nice. In a second I will start to add the plants as I said. Uh, I only like uh, included half uh, of uh, me adding those plants uh, in this building. Again, not to make this video too long, on the other half I use the similar uh, types of plants, so I think, think you'll be able to figure out what I used. I will leave you guys now for a few minutes. Please enjoy this speed build of me finishing the building. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I know my channel is small, but I have high hopes for the future. Your comments and all the likes are so incredible, it really pushes me to 
make those videos I really really enjoy it so please subscribe there are many uh, videos to come I already have ideas for like uh, five I think uh, future videos so they'll probably be out in future weeks uh, yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video and please also comment down below uh, what you liked about this episode or is, or do you have any suggestions of how I can improve my videos uh, please let me down below I would really like to know your opinion and yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Please enjoy. Hum.
again after this short break. As you can see, we nearly finished the building. I added the roof from this opaque glass pieces, which I really like because they have those beams. Uh, so you get those beams inside of the building and I think it looks really realistic uh, and nice. I also changed the color of the opaque glass on the roof to the darker one. Uh, just to match the roof a bit with the roofs of the gift shop and the uh, uh, food hall that we already built. Uh, at the end of this episode you will be seeing me adding uh, some pipes to the uh, penguin habitat. I thought it would be like a ventilation system uh, with the coolers at the ends uh, because you know the, they need some lower temperature and Let's pretend that the cool uh, air is flowing from the building through those pipes uh, and I'll be also adding a lot of lights to the habitat and to the building where the guests uh, walk around for a nice effect at night. Please stay with me till the end of this episode. There will be some cinematic shots of the habitat of the building and also some footage of the penguins diving if you want to see it. They are, I really like the animations of the penguins diving. I think they are the best of all the animals which dive in this game. It really looks so fun when there are a lot of penguins swimming with each other. So if you want to see it, please stay till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. As I said, there is a lot more to come in the future. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please comment down below uh, if you liked it. You can also follow me on other social media. My Instagram account is simply Caesar Creates, so definitely give me a follow if you want to. Thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys!